Okay, so it's Luxury Fred, and I am here in Hong Kong at the amazing Amber, which is a two Michelin starred restaurant here at the landmark Mandarin Oriental. And it's run by a Dutch chef, Richard Ekebus, who I will be talking to after lunch. And um, it's a very modern, uh, I wouldn't call it fusion or molecular gastronomy, but it's a, a very modern menu with a lot of really interesting tastes and combinations and things like that. And um, definitely one of the best restaurants in Hong Kong. So we're doing a special tasting lunch. And we just had uh, kind of a umami truffle dumpling almost uh, with, I don't know, with, uh, thank you, with some delicious uh, black truffle and chicken stock soup. Welcome. Just delicious. Thank you. Uh, so excited to have another lunch. And you like what you see, you can see the full video of my meal with all the close-ups of the different entrees and things like that to see what it's like to have lunch here at Amber in Hong Kong. Okay. Yes, go ahead please. Uh, I'm gonna have a salad. May I take a picture of it? Thank you. Thank you. So this is the sinape. We awaken your palate. Start with the salty flavor. We have the oyster leaf with some uh, sea water. Inside we infuse with some seaweed jam. And also we have some sea oil. Thank you. You're welcome. So this one will be a red rice cracker with lemon and olive oil caviar. This one will have a salad flavor or sour. Thank you. So I just say red rice is olive oil. Enjoy. Thank you. Good. Yes. yes. So this is what we turn now. It's uh, the stew onion with some crispy spell mm -hmm. and then also some hazelnut fruit and place with some Guinness beer. Oh. Thank you. So the last dish was a uh, very bitter flavor. A little one under the oyster one. So this is for the sweet palette. So we have kabocha pumpkin bowl with pumpkin puree, pumpkin seeds, and also some maple syrup. some pastry puff. Uh, inside have the duxel mushroom and then the, this one the color because we put some squid ink so that's why the color be dark. On the top will be some uh, black winter truffle with some chives. And here. So we have the black truffle and then with some olive oil and some mushroom. Bread. 
And this is a soup? Yes, like a soup, like okay. a bouillon. So you yes. eat this first, then yes, you take you, this? Yes, you take uh, the puff first, and then after you drink the tea to cleanse the palate. And all in one bite? Uh, so just all in one bite. Okay. Yeah, so you can have all the flavor, the texture. Okay. Yes. Thank it's you. also because of the duck shell ma mushroom, like we cut thin slice. Yeah. And then uh, other one will be like quite messy, you know, because, okay. uh, yeah. <laughs> So I suggest one bite. Thank you. Thank you. And it's warm. Okay. okay. So from Isakawa from Japan, which is on the this is the main island uh, on the north of um, west north of uh, Nagoya. So basically, the, the label is uh, basically with a uh, free element, and this the, this is the Chinese word of wind, water, and human over here. So in Japanese, it's a uh, kasiyu, misuyu, hituyu. So it's a uh, jumai jinjo from. Thank you. And uh, thank you. Is there a reason it's not drank in traditional that you serve it in a wine glass and not in a sake glass? Oh, so basically, for for us, it's to. Uh, we do a little bit more uh, modern style. So on the wine glass, it's better for you to have the taste of the aroma. Right. And naturally, in certain extent, we treat the sake and also as a wine. Okay. But of course, they make from different kind of... Um, uh, the wine make from grape and the sake make by rice. But actually, for us, we're using the wine glass, it's actually more easy for you to smell. Uh -huh. And actually, for the traditional small ones, it's a little bit... Uh, so we need to talk a little bit. Maybe the portion is not that enough right. for you to finish the whole oyster. Right. And of course, traditionally, the people is having the using the sake glass. Uh -huh. But uh, we decided to use the wine glass because we want the guests to enjoy the aroma. And we should make the... The wine glass to design is um, like that you can smell it more perfume mm -hmm. and that you can experience more on the sake. Please so okay. enjoy. Thank you. So this is the Ebisu oyster from Japan. Serve with some plantain gel, some cannon and also some lemon with uh, some mustard gas. Thank you. Enjoy. special thing from California. Here we have your uh, rivalry, which is a driver's thing from Germany Mosul. Uh, Terence 3, you wish that go, 2013. And just a little bit for each of us. A little taste, a little tiny bit. Thank you. Perfect, thank you. May I take a picture of the label? Thank you. Thank you. So the next one is the bamboo. So we serve with some blank steam tata underneath. And then also we have on the top will be anka uni and granny sweet apple. So oh. it's very refreshing. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you very much. So basically for the bamboo, we come with this one, the Portugal. Okay. It's actually from Tao. It's more south than the duo, usually make port wine. So it's actually in the middle of Portugal. So it's the, the grape is called Ecruzado. It's actually a very local burrito in the Tao Valley. And but it's actually a rising burrito. It's actually in Portugal. Oh, wow. And they make a vintage 2015. It's actually for me a little bit more aromatic and a little bit like a sauvignon bomb, a bit more subtle, more mineral character. Sorry for this. And this wine is uh, discovered from our Hesso Mania John Chen. He go to Portugal last year and then uh, looking for this wine comes directly from the from the vineyard.
have not had a lot of wine from Portugal. Yeah, he got a like a every, he got a seven days, and then every day is a Coutu Chateau, and then really? taste the wine, and then for like seven days, and wow. they go to he go to different regions, yeah. not that popular. But it's more like a unique because nowadays the Portugal right. is promoting their wine right, in the world, right. and it's actually a, it's a kind of um, going in this recent yeah, years. Yeah. And actually, they make a very nice uh, Souvenir National or Vino Verho from a very classic white wine right, right. from Portugal, and being more uh, people more recognized and more rec um, more focused right. on the wine being yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is really yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because. For the for wine to them is to Spain and Spain right. is already very well known right. around the world. But of course, there's kind of small region in Spain is also uh, waiting for discover. But Portugal is actually come on rising in this kind of recent year. Please enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Come next, we come with the red wine from yes. Southern Rome, yes. most famous uh, Chateau of the Pub by yes. Chateau de Vincouche, 2011 Grenache, Siwa, and Bouvet. So it's actually a new, uh, we always mention it's a new style of Chateau of the Pub, mm -hmm. give you more fruit character and book oak influence. For the wine, it's just medium body, give you a nice uh, red fruit, strawberry, raspberry, and then with a very nice uh, spices, cinnamon, vanilla from the oak flavor. Uh, very little, yeah, very little. Little. Enjoy. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Okay. <laughs> you cannot guess. <laughs> I thought they were the ones that uh, protective. Uh, you know, when you shave, they put uh, on that one glove. And, you know, yeah. I don't know. So this is the foie gras. Foie gras. Yes, which is poached, and then served with three kinds of white mushroom, and we have here the black garlic and the homemade by the foie gras and this is the mushroom bouillon. Please enjoy. Thank you. My pleasure. So with uh, mango to the wagyu beef, we come with a four car bori from Bordeaux. Wagyu this beef? Wagyu beef. Uh -huh. Miyazaki wagyu beef, one of the best uh, wagyu beef from Japan. So basically we come with the Bordeaux and we hope to bring the fruitiness and the kind of tanning that balance with the wagyu beef. Because the wagyu beef is not that powerful wagyu beef compared to like Angus beef. Right. Um, so it's actually the fattiness and the meat texture is like a balanced pitching. So you just lick a medium body with a very nice uh, tan run and silky tanning mm -hmm. and the fruitiness. And so we will not come with the Australian Shiraz, this kind of um, blockbuster. And this is come from Leeway Engines. It usually come between St. Julian and Marco, so which is a very tiny region, but producing an exceptional quality of wine. And this one is come with Merlot, Capernet Sauvignon, and a 5% of Petit Wildot as well. A little bit. Dude. Thank you very much. Thank you. So here is the main course, the Miyazaki Wagyu beef. And we serve with some red cabbage. We have three styles. The first one would be the coleslaw with some dough seaweed, red cabbage, and pickle cake. And the dog made by the pepperberry. Here's the sauce. We have some horseradies mixed with some pepperberry. Mm -hmm. White pepperberry? No, pepperberry. Oh, pepperberry. Yeah, so it's a. Uh, like a pepper, but it's a, we call it pepperberry because the color is purple. I see. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure. Enjoy.
So first is where we come with a sweet wine from West Australia, from Spoon Valley, Belly Rich Estate Kyoho 2010 on a semi-sweet style. So the wine is very special because they use the grape called Kyoho. Kyoho is usually a, a very common grape to, as a fruit to eat directly in Japan. So it's a very dark skin, very thick skin, but it's very aromatic style. And then the grape come from Japan to go to Australia to make a sweet wine because it's very high sugar level. So it's very hard to make a dry style of wine. So they well, I say, oh, then I should make a sweet wine because it's very aromatic and the fruitiness. And it's very refreshing style, we will give you too much um, sweetness and perfect go with the first dessert as a uh, Enjoy. Thank you, thank you. So this one will be your the first dessert. This is the, the cherries being cut with some peanut pepper to give us a little bit citrus flavor, but don't worry, it's not the spicy. This is slightly aromatic from the citrus peppers. And also in the middle you will have the yogurt sorbet, hibiscus bonita, and also crispy red right, and some jasmine petals. Wow. Have you enjoyed? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Did you need the plate? And for your last dessert, we have the caramel latte. We have the milk chocolate with the nuts on the bottom. On top, we have some caramel with the almond also. And then we have the cold And so on the side, we have some palitas and some calamansi and a little bit of caramel Thank you. Oh boy. Little tiny bit. Okay, so then you know I'm a little bit. Tiny, tiny, tiny. tiny, 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 tiny. So we also come with the wine, it's actually Mr. Elgi, it's a fortified wine from Duo. It's actually made by Moscatec the grape, it's a uh, three year aging and it's very unique style. Um, it's not that common because usually when you talk about fortified wines, you will imagine a Madeira and also port wine from Portugal, but it's actually, this one is made by Moscatec, so it's very special, three year aging style. Thank you. <laughs>